so everyone I know, pretty much everybody wants more intimacy in their relationships. Like however good our intimacy is, we still want more. But for so many of us, intimacy seems like a pipe dream, something that is so far removed from where we are right now in our current day-to-day -day reality in our partnerships. So intimacy. Intimacy means absence of fear. When we have intimacy between us, we have, there's an absence of fear. We feel safe. We feel safe to self-express. We feel safe to share. We feel safe to feel sexy, to express our desires, express our wishes, our wants, to receive, to give. When we feel safe, we feel, we have the permission to be fully human. And isn't that what we all really want to experience in this lifetime, to feel fully human? And our relationships are kind of this, uh, what we desire in relationships is the intimacy, the absence of fear to feel fully human with our beloved. Now, as I said, too many of us don't have that sense of intimacy in our relationships. We don't, we don't feel safe to express ourselves fully, to be fully human, to be fully known, to express our desires, to express our wants, to express our fears, our disappointments, because we don't have intimacy. So what happens? What happens when we come to bed together with all this love and all these heady chemicals and all these yummy hormones surging around our bodies? We come together, we're completely smitten with each other, and then over time, the gaps, the, um, the gap grows, the between us, this, this chasm, it just widens with, I guess, unexpressed disappointments, desires that we kept, keep hidden, that we don't feel safe to express. The, the intimacy, rather than us nourishing and building a place of safety, we slowly get pulled apart. And then we lack the tools, the techniques, the understandings, the knowledge. And I guess we bring, we all bring our own traumas, our own stories, our own backgrounds. All the stuff we need to heal from comes into this kind of, this mix. And without intimacy, without safety, we don't heal. We, we can't let go of. And what we can't let go of becomes more of a barrier between us. One of the problems with intimacy in relationships is so brilliantly expressed by Esther Perel in her amazing book, Mating in Captivity. She articulates something that I had noticed and I was beginning to understand, but reading it black and white on the page in front of me was such an amazing aha moment. It's just like, yes, that's exactly what's, what I've experienced. Esther Perel recommends that we all in our relationships learn to be bilingual. Now, she's a multilingual woman, but she's not talking about speaking multiple languages. She's learning, she's teaching us that in our relationships, we need to be able to speak the language, the intimacy languages of each of the person in the relationship. And in, heter in heterosexual relationships, it can be so easy to assume that our partner speaks the same intimacy language as us, and actually they don't. So women quite we're quite familiar with the fact that women are very comfortable with talking we love to talk we love to be listened to when when we when we are listened to when our partner holds the space and enables us to talk we feel so much safer and when we feel safe then we are able to move in this safety into physical sexual sensual intimacy unfortunately our male partners are wired very differently to us in order for them to feel safe to talk, they need physical, sensual, even sexual intimacy. So when men experience physical touch, when they are held, when they are stroked, when they um, are physically, sensually, even sexually held by another person, they feel deeply intimate, they feel safe, their barriers start to come down. So in order for them to talk, they need to have touched. But unfortunately for us, us, us women, we need to talk in order to touch. So can you see how we end up on opposite sides in kind of very, very separate camps? One of us demanding talk and the other one demanding touch. And then because we're both demanding what we want and we need, we kind of we find that we can't cross the divide and we just get pulled further and further apart. And this is where Esther Perel says, guys, gals, you need to learn each other's languages. You need to find a way to connect. So in my programme, Lingam Mastery, which is a programme for women, 
what I do is I teach women how to reconnect with a touch that they feel safe with. Touch, touching themselves first, reconnecting with touch, which I think is such a core human need. So to feel safe, to experience touch, to experience their own touch first and then their partner's touch and then use touch to build intimacy in the relationship so that they can start to talk and be heard and be listened to. Because when we, we have a choice, we either exist in these separate camps, either side of this divide, one label talk and one label touch and both demanding that we get our needs met or we find ways we empower ourselves to find ways to talk in ways that we feel safe with and to touch in ways that we feel safe with so that we can start building bridges across this divide and build intimacy, create intimacy, deep, deep intimacy in our relationships where we all feel safe to talk and we all feel safe to touch. So if you'd like to join my programme, it's opening up again in, in September. It's the second time I'll have run it and um, it is such a beautiful awakening program for women and also an empowerment program, a program that helps women really understand the power that they hold in a relationship, the power, the power they have in their body, the power they have to move energy, share energy and hold space for men who are also deeply desiring intimacy, scared, lonely, frustrated, anxious, worried, so many different things going on for all of us around our sex and intimate relationships. So my programme for, for women, Lingam Mastery, is reopening in September. It's enrolling now. I'd love for you to join. If you'd like to talk to me um, before joining or talk to me in any, for any other reason, um, book a call with me. The link is in the comments below. The links for the programme are in the comments below. You can also join my Facebook group and sign up to my newsletter. All the links are in the comments below. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, find ways to be bilingual. Find ways that if you're a man, you can make space to listen and bring talk into the relationship. And if you're a woman, find space to touch more, to be, to receive his touch more. Create boundaries around it by all means. Have boundary touch, there's nothing wrong with that, but just understand the power of touch. Okay, lovely to speak to you. Talk again soon, bye now. Lovely wasn't as good as the first one. No, but it's still very good. But I think it was just as good as the first one, just different. No, the first one I had this lovely thing about when men are touched, they open and soften, and when women talk, they open and soften, and it was just so, it was just this beautiful kind of, how we, how we soften. And I didn't get that back in. Are you happy with this one? Happy enough, I, I don't want to redo it. Okay, fine. So which one is this? Do you think it was all right listening to it? Yeah, I do. That's bilingual, whatever bilingual. the date is. I didn't stop recording it. <laughs>